Hey there, my name is Shafir Yunus and in this tutorial you will learn how to add testing to Hilt. How you can use Hilt to do good testing. Okay, so first thing, let's go to Google, type Hilt testing like that and search for the first tutorial and the first Android documentation. And here, let's go back also to our project. If you remember in our project, we used house with an alert system and this alert system has multiple implementation, one with noise alert system and lock alert system. And basically we used health in order to provide one of these alert systems. Now we want to test this house. The house is already used in the house activity. So we want to test house activity and see if it is printing this house alert. Okay, but with a fake alert system. So to test the house activity separately of the alert system. Now, in order to add testing with health in our Android project, we have to add some dependencies. Go to the documentation here and search for the dependencies. We need dependencies for instrumentation test. We are not using RoboElectric test here. So we need to copy these two lines. If you are using Java, you have to copy also this one. Go here and inside the build gradle file, paste it here. Okay, ensure that you have the plugin Kotlin capped and sync it. Nice. Now, after adding the dependencies, we have to add another class here in the Android test, Android instrumentation test. Add another class and let's type it the test runner because we will use manual or custom test runner here you will have to basically extend from the Android GUnit runner like that. And next we will have to override the method called new application. In the return type, don't return this class name. Just return health test application dot java no dot class dot java dot name. Like that. And next you will have to copy the package name and the class name, the full class name with the package in the build.gradle file here. So instead of using the default runner, we'll use our custom run. So we will use test runner. You won't get any help with this. Okay. And the package name. Okay. And sync it. You will see the same steps in the documentation here. Okay, so basically here it is, same steps, and it will tell you to replace the class path of the custom test run. Okay, you can name it whatever you want here, just be sure of the package name and the class name. If you go back to the application and try to run this test, just run it, as you can see, it is passing. If we made an error here, let's say we deleted the Y, for example, and sync it, and run the test, you won't have any error or compilation error. The test won't just pass. Anything will, nothing will run here. You have to make sure that the path to the custom test runner is all right. Okay. So control Z, sync it again and run it again to see that our, exactly it is working. Next, we want to create a test for our house activity. As you can see, the house activity is using the alert. And in the alert system, we are just using the alert system to alert. And with the implementation, it will alert. Okay, so we are providing the noise alert system. And if you go here, it will return the noise alert system. And the noise alert system will print noise, 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 noise. Okay, if we want to use something else instead of the noise alert system in the, of course, in the test, you'll have to create a fake alert system module. Okay, so create a new like that it is an object fake or you can name it fake alert system module like that and here you have also to type at module like that same as alert system module and instead of install in we will have something called test installing okay you will give it two things the first is the components and the second replaces both takes an array okay so the component i will install in the singleton component like that 
dust class it is kotlin class and here we should tell him which component or which module it is replacing so this fake alert system is replacing the alert system module okay so you make alert system module like that and adjust class now you have to provide the same thing provided here in the alert system module so i will copy this okay i'll copy this let's go back here I'll copy this and instead of passing noise alert system I will pass something else. I will pass, let's say, we don't need this noise here. I will pass, well, I can create a fake alert system here. Let's create it, fake alert system, just for the purpose of testing. This will implement the alert system. Okay, let's implement the alerting. And here it will just pop out. Here, we need to return the fake alert system, like that. Now we will have some errors. I will show you the errors and how you can avoid them. Now we will have to create a simple espresso test for our house activity. Okay, so let's create a test here. House activity test. The first thing you have to annotate it with at health Android test. Okay, this is the first thing. Third, you will have to get a rule, a rule for health. So we'll just copy it from here. Here it is the rule. Okay. This rule. Health Android rule. This to make it public. Okay. We need another rule for the activity to launch the activity at get rule like that. Well, let's call it activity rule. It is an activity scenario, sorry. Scenario like that. Scenario rule. Yes, for the house activity. And this will equal activity scenario rule from the house activity class. Now, when you have two rules, you have to make an order for them. Just type the parameter and here put the order. The first one will be the health and the second will be the activity. And you need another method called the setup method in order to inject. You pay health dot inject the components now if you want an alert system here you can basically just declare it as a member injection or field injection var alert system which is an alert system okay alert system like that but we have an error you have to make it later late in it var something like that and this will get from here okay but the alert system in the house is using this noise so this will make an error if we run the app now let's create also the test test function this test will do nothing it will just wait okay we just want to see the activity let's put it for 5000 seconds and run the test and we will see some errors yes exactly we will see some errors okay so basically the errors with health are somehow difficult to notice but as you can see, house noise is not provided. The alert system is not provided. Okay, go to here and see why it is not provided. Just type here in the house. We can't provide alert system here. Why? Because we are in the test. So you should make noise also here. Okay, and if we run it now, let's see, we have another error. Why? Because now in the test, we don't know how to get an alert system. Basically, we'll have also to type noise here. Okay, run it again, and hopefully no errors will come. Nice, everything is working. The test is, as you can see, it is working. Now go to the lock at here. So we must see the system. As you can see, it is printing fake alert system from the other side, which means that it is using the fake alert system. If we launch the application as normal, let's launch it as normal, we see something else system that noise 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 okay so this way you can create custom classes to use in your test your fake class just to test if the activity is working correctly or not or in the fragment or in any other instrumentation test you can use something else here you can use the room testing so if you are using room databases you can use module for to provide room 
we will see that in the example after this video in the next video hopefully in the room module you will provide room like normal but in the test you provide room but in memory room not the usual database of room okay so i hope you enjoyed the video and learned how to do testing with it so the idea is simple whenever you have a module like that and you want to replace some components of it you have just to recreate this module and replace the original module okay and here you can provide your fake implementation of the thing you are providing it can be room it can be firebase firestore databases rich of it or anything else you can mock you can fake anything you want thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next